Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the podcast. If you're a new listener, welcome back. If you're a veteran, uh, thanks for coming back. And today we're going to talk about a topic that's just like it's like constantly out there on the Internet as far as basic obedient training is uh, uh, treat training and why or it's toys. not or toys for that matter, but why it's not reliable. Uh, what's the holes? What are the, the issues? With well, it? You know I mean? yeah, we before we started this uh, podcast, we had like a discussion with what am I going to talk about? And because it's such a broad topic yeah. you know you talking dog working for itself or for you and with you you talking about in drive out of drive yeah all those are huge topics yeah right but but but, but we will focus today i think only on you know what kind of reward to give to the dog that's actually that's when we're talking before we started we pushed the record button that's another thing too that that these folks that come into the feed I see them is 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 yeah that's one another sticking point the reward are you not paying the dog you know kind of thing well we we you know so so you can <clears throat> there's motivation which ends up with reward right so you motivate the dog by I mean not me but a lot of trainers they motivate the dog with a treat you can see these people healing with the puppy, which is sniffing to their f hand yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. That drives me crazy. And one of them has a bag, a treat bag. Too, yeah. and, it's like a and, and, and so it looks like the dog is healing, but he's basically sniffing to the hand, right? Yeah. And, uh, but, and, or you can do the same thing with the toys, you know. And big dog trainers like Balabanov, uh, they, they're big on toy reward mm -hmm. and motivation. Yeah. And, uh, you know, he won nationals yeah. by that, but that's sport, yeah. you know. Um, the training is really, with, so you, so, so, okay, let's, let's structure this a little better. So you can either reward the dog with treats or toys, right? And, or you can reward it by you praising the dog, which people think it's ineffective, you know, petting the dog. So you say, good boy, and pet, pet on the head, right? And timing is important. So you always got to be the same, right? So you say, good boy, pet, pet, when the dog sits, for example. So you say, buster sit, buster ass touches the ground. And you say, good boy, pet, pet, good boy, right? And um, the dog... Um, People think that the petting is um, not effective enough, so they start doing treats and toys. They think they're more effective. I'm not saying <clears throat> they are not effective, but you know, one needs to understand why the petting and voice command, voice uh, 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 praising, is very powerful. Because uh, when you pet the dog, what happens is the dog secretes oxytocin and you secrete oxytocin. That's why they take dogs into nursing homes for the mm -hmm. old people and they pet the dog and yeah. that makes them feel better because the oxytocin goes up. Well, we all know it. You, have, we all know it too. Pet owners like it actually feels good to pet yeah. the dog. Yeah, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. so what what happened is yeah. you know you pet the dog. And it starts with mother, right? Uh, when she has a little tiny puppy, she cleans mm -hmm. it up and licks it. Yeah. And uh, that secretes oxytocin in her. That makes her do it and secretes the oxytocin in the puppy and the bonds with the mother. Yeah. So it's also bonding. Well, the oxytocin is it, the bonding hormone. Okay. And you induce it by petting the dog. Okay. Right? So you say, good boy, pet, pet, good mm -hmm. boy, pet, pet. And you condition the dog that when you say good boy, the oxytocin shoots up, even if you don't pet the dog. So it could be on long distance, just like the Pavlov conditioning. Mm -hmm. You say, you ring the bell and feed the dog, ring the bell, feed the dog, ring the bell, mm -hmm. feed the dog. You do it a hundred times and dog gets conditioned that uh, when he hears the bell, he starts producing saliva and digestive juices, you know. Yeah. Uh, so it's, it's, it's the same thing, basically, as if you say, 
good boy and pet pet, you don't, the good boy would be like ringing the bell and the pet pet would be like giving the dog food. Yeah. Right. And you produce these hormones, which makes them happy, happy hormones. So, so that's, that's when you say good boy and pet pet and you keep doing it all the time. Okay. Eventually the dog gets conditioned. And uh, I always tell also people when you doing exercises, obedience, let's say heal, and as you heal, dog looks at you, just just pet it, say good boy, pet, pet, and as, as, as they heal, right? Yeah. Hans kind of projects his voice at us because he's looking at us as we're going. You mean I'm right? yelling at you, pet and your fucking dog? <laughs> kind of like let's just get down to what, let's get down to what's going on really, Hans. <laughs> Uh, you got me there. Yeah. Touche. But, 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 I didn't, you know, in the beginning when I started training about three years ago with Hans, uh, I didn't quite understand why, why he does it because it's so important. It's such an important part of the exercise. Yeah, but you see, when you pet the dog, I will talk about the cookies and, uh, and the treats and toys a little bit later. But when you, um, um, when you, when you, train the dog. I want the dog to work for you and with you. And so he works for you and with you because, and, uh, because he gets, when he performs well, he makes you happy, right? And that because you're happy, you say good boy and pet pet, right? And the dog likes that pet pet because it gives him oxytocin high, which yeah. is happy. It makes him happy. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's a bonding hormone. Yeah. And you, you are team. You work together. That's why the pet pet is so important, you know, pet pet. Yeah. And uh, where you, uh, on the other end, when you're using um, treats, I like to say cookie, <laughs> did I get the right way? I like cookie. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, you know, you can, you can communicate to the dog really quickly with the cookie. You know, you're moving cookie down. The yeah. dog follows cookie and lays down, yeah. and you think you're teaching it down, right? Yeah. But it's a fake down. It's like it's like it's like uh, you are <laughs> tell them the, the, you, know, tell them. Yeah. you are uh, you're telling the dog, you know, uh, yeah. if you put your elbow on the ground, uh, you get cookie, yeah. right? But they, he's not doing it for me. He's doing it because he wants the damn cookie. <laughs> this is, I don't know why it's so revolutionary when you talk to people about this that are quote unquote dog trainers. Right. I don't, I don't get it. Like, as you but said, the, you know, if you, if you, so you communicate to the dog something, but you are not really doing it right. When we were talking today with Gabor here about this type of stuff, I said, I said, it's like, imagine they come these aliens from Alta, uh, Alpha uh, Centauri or Century or whatever you pronounce in English, right? A constellation far, far away, yeah. right? And, <laughs> And they come here, right? Yeah. And uh, you can learn their language, right? And start communicating with them on their level, mm -hmm. right? Or you offer them a hot dog, right? And they're hungry, so they will do something for the hot dog, right? Yeah. <laughs> you don't probably kill them with it, but... <laughs> um, I like but, my aliens when they... they yeah, kill. so, <laughs> so you know, so... And imagine that dog is like an alien. Yeah. And you're giving him hot dog. Yeah. Why don't you learn to communicate with him on his level and explain him what your level is so so your minds meet yeah. together. Yeah. And now you're on this both on the same page. Rather than I want you to sit, you're telling to the dog, and dog is saying, I want a cookie. Right? So, so you're completely somewhere else. Sit, cookie. Right? Yeah. It's, 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 it's not the same thing. Yeah. You know, so, so when you start training dog and you motivate him with a treat, it seems pretty simple. Just like that alien who is hungry, you know, you point on a chair and he will sit in the chair and you give him a hot dog. Yeah. The alien says, okay, if I put my ass into that contraption they call chair, I'll get hot dog and I'm hungry. I want a hot dog. Yeah. <laughs> but you want to talk to him about, you know, some complex issues and you cannot do that with a dog. 
Yeah. So there's there's two things that are happening, I think, with the modern dog trainer. Either they literally nobody explained it to them what you're doing here, or they're lazy. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Or they're stuck on stupid. Or stuck on stupid. Yeah. yeah. Or something, maybe three, but or some something like that. I don't yeah. know. And, and and as Han said, he says one of the things that you learned as a dog trainer of you, you had to think your way through things too. It wasn't right. I mean, or logically, we, we should be doing that more. Um, yeah, we need to understand uh, what's in the dog's head. Yeah. Why is he doing it? Is he doing it because he want a hot dog, or is he doing it because he want to make you happy so that you make him happy and you become a team? Dogs are pack oriented animals. And they work like a team. So tap into that. Yeah. Okay. Tap into the being team rather than yeah. being pest dispenser of cookies. Yes. You know. Makes sense. Mm. You know. Yeah. And then, you know, people say, well, but if I can achieve what I can with the cookies, why should I worry about learning alien language? Right. Yeah. So to speak. Yeah. And the point is the cookies our motivator on certain level. And as long as the cookie or the toy or treat, whatever, is a motivator high enough that overrides all the other destruction, dis disruption and destruction around you, then the cookie works. Yeah. But if... <coughs> Hold on. <coughs> But if the uh, um, if there is a dis distraction on higher level than your cookie, the distraction, yeah, yeah, the yeah. distraction yeah. Uh, is is higher, like a cat or a rabbit taking off. Yeah. Your cookie is nothing, yeah, compared to that, yeah, right. But but I'm teaching dog to do whatever I want, no matter what, you yeah. know. So we always are, I teach the dog to be part of the team. Yeah. Two men, two person, two, two member pack. I'm the leader and dog is a floor and dog got to do whatever I say if they like it or not. Yeah. Where with the cookies, you're teaching the dog to do it because it makes them happy and they do it because they're happy. But if chasing cat will yeah. make them more happy, yeah. you're screwed. Yeah. Your dog is not going to listen. Yeah. You know. Another, uh, and that, that, you know, that talks about that conglomerate I'll always talk about, right? Yeah. That dovetails into the obedience training out of drive. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Where, where the dog does things for you even so he doesn't want to. Yeah. And, you know, then you have these idiots yeah. who will say, well, the dog is doing yeah. it because he's yeah. scared of you. Yeah. I said, no. Yeah. No. He's not scared of me. He's happy to do that because I will pet him, induce oxytocin, which will make him feel good. No. And I will do it only when I'm happy. So he's trying to make me happy doing the right thing. Yeah, yeah. And if he doesn't do it, well, he gets corrected. Yeah. And, and, and But on the flip side, he gets also rewarded with the pet. On the end, right. all, yeah. And that's the part they, 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 they don't want to admit or leave out or they're always saying, no, you're just doing this, the negative reverse, like... But there's no like. Well, there's this, uh, you know, Skinner, forward, right? Positive reinforcement, negative reinforcement, positive punishment, negative punishment. Four squadrons, yeah. Yeah, the four pillar squadrons, whatever. Four, yeah. and, 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 and so, and they all got to be there. And people say, well, you know, first of all, they don't understand even what's positive reinforcement and punishment or whatever what it is. You need to, people look it up on internet, you know, and you will be surprised what it actually means. Yeah. You know, and uh, we can probably make a podcast on this. Four quad or four, the four, pillars. Yeah, four pillars. yeah. Would it, That'd would be they, good. Yeah, yeah, what they are. That'd be really good, yeah. Yeah. And uh, and so, so you know, um, I personally think that the way I train the dog is more reliable. Yeah. The dog, and it could be even pretty because if you keep consistently rewarding dogs for doing, they they happy, they... They, they want your reward same way as they want the cookie, except yeah. the reward is coming from you. Yeah. People say, well, the cookie is coming from you too. <laughs> it's <laughs> a wall. It's like a, 
<laughs> it's like a filter between you yeah. and 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 the dog. It's not. Yeah. It's not. It's not. Yeah. And and one of the big and and it kind of just I was trying to wrap my head around it when they're making these arguments. Um, uh, they they tell me that they phase out the cookie, and I tell them why would you phase something good out? Yeah. Why would you even put that time into the dog when you can? Teach it the correct well, way. Well, playing devil's advocate, they, 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 it's easier to to train it that way because, and then they, but they realize they don't want to rely on a hot dog. Right? That's what I'm saying. If it's good, why would you take it away as, right. as far as the training? Well, it's like the alien, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, you don't, you don't, you don't want him to work just because you have a hot dog, or you don't want to communicate with him through a hot dog. You want to yeah. learn his language. Yeah, yeah. You know, and. Uh, and yeah. talk to him on his level, right? Yeah. So you you have a meeting of the minds. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I don't know. You know, <clears throat> it's just funny. Sometimes when I'm explaining this, I start doubting my ability to explain what I'm trying to say. <laughs> or I said, I said, is this clear what I'm saying, or do I sound like a retard? Yeah. No. You know. No, you're clear. Yeah. Especially when you when you say hot dog and alien, <laughs> <laughs> but but it, it, you know I mean you're bringing it up to a level like okay there's yeah. aliens that yeah, don't I speak the language. Yeah, I got this guy who traveled here for yeah. five <laughs> light years, right? <laughs> and I'm offering him a hot dog, right? Yeah. Because I want him to do something. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah, um, and it, yeah, it's such a and this is obedience. This is just basic level obedience that you're talking about here it's not a like a, a yet yet as you said it, it is a conglomerate of things and yeah you 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 know all the training starts with obedience yeah which is a communication of positive and negative so the dog listens to you on first command in any situation yeah because he has to and subsequently in the end because he likes to yeah. that's what the obedience i teach out of drive is yeah right yeah it's reliable more more reliable if you think about it why because there's an actual relationship between you and the dog yeah you you work or in organic uh organically like a pack yeah and the pack of wolves uh or feral dogs or whatever yeah. canines exists for millions of years yeah and of course there are people out there who say it's not a pack it's a family yeah. I said, okay, it's a pack which you, which we can call family, or yeah. it's a family which lives in pack. I don't know, <laughs> but it's still a pack. So one of them is leader, yeah, and the rest of them are followers, yeah. You know? yeah. And you tap into it, you know, and uh, and you build a relationship, and you work together, yeah. You know, it's like. I hear trainers saying, oh, you got to lock up your dog in a kennel and take it out only for the obedience sessions, and he's going to work for you really well. Yeah. Well, no, he's not working for you. He's just happy that he's out of the damn kennel. That's why he works. Is that is that your motivation? Yeah, yeah. You know, it, it's so convoluted sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, anyway. Yeah, as you I said. I hope I was clear, man. I don't know. I think I think you were, and, and as you said, it's a multifaceted uh, topic so as you know it was like roughly 20 minutes i don't know what we've been recording but i mean you you, you said a fair amount but there's so much more uh, that yeah you can, it's I'm all sure start say, to the you know. with the obedience you know you yeah. start all right there yeah you know you're building the relationship you know and then it bleeds into the protection yeah or search and rescue or truffle hunting i don't care what yeah yeah right and 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 you work like a team yeah you know it's yeah. much more efficient because it's what nature dictates to the dog because they're pack animals. So, so be a part of the pack. Yeah. Be part of pack. Pack of two. Yeah. You know? Yeah. No, it's a good. Those are those are great advices. And it is. It is. It is. Takes more time, more knowledge, more work. It's not as not as easy. People want to take the easiest route always in things. Yeah, easy There's to no give, a, give, give a hot alien a hot dog and point on a chair. That's easy. Yeah. Rather yeah. than, you know, spend 10 years to study their language. Yeah. So that's I think that's another thing, too, that just uh, people want to take the easy. There is no shortcuts to the top. There is none. You cannot. There's any field. I don't care. Shortcuts will 
yeah. get you in trouble. Yeah. Really. Somewhere along the line that's going to yeah. get you in trouble. Yeah. Um, and with this segment, that's why you got to buy Hans's uh, obedience. obedience <laughs> no nonsense obedience training. So Hans yeah, has a out of drive training. Out of drive training. It's a, the first section of the video. You you have like a whiteboard. You explain things. Yeah. It's about an hour long. And then the second part is where you actually command show. per session. Yeah. Per per week. Yes, and then Hans explains everything. I think it's it's a great video. It's a to the point. Is there's no tricks in this. It's just he explains it. If you enjoyed this content so far, please subscribe to our channel. Also, Hans has a podcast channel called Dog Training for Life. Check that out so you can listen to the audio version. You know what's going on. So yeah, it's a good. Yeah, and then people say, Hans, you're an idiot. You're a clown. And I said, point me to where I said something which is clownish. Clownish. And they <laughs> they can't, man. They can't. <laughs> Clownish. Clownish. <laughs> That's a good way. So uh, <laughs> please visit alpinecaninereal.com, like realistic, alpinecaninereal.com. Uh, Hans has the personal protection video series there too, which if you buy the whole package, uh, he will give you support on it um, over the phone and videos. Yeah, and I always that. talk to people yeah. on the phone anyway. Yeah. But if, you know, there's also like I do some coaching yeah, uh, I never, you know, uh, uh, coaching on just just coaching by himself. You have some serious question about doctor and call me. You can buy time with me on yep. the phone. Yep, right. Yep. And it's a bargain. Yeah, it's. I think so. Anyway. It is a bargain. So uh, yeah, go to alpinecaninereal dot com to check out these videos. Also, if you're looking for a puppy or a trained adult dog, uh, Hans is your man because these uh, dogs come from the Czech Republic from a very good. Uh, bloodline, so from Jinnipo. Yeah, and, and subscribe. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Subscribe, guys. Subscribe, subscribe. Supposedly, like half of the listeners, like it's an average for a lot of YouTube channels, they don't even subscribe. So please subscribe. Kind of helps the algorithm. And of course, Hans needs a jet. So, no, we decide it needs to be a helicopter. Oh, that's why, right. why, why was it a helicopter? I forgot. I don't know. Well, maybe just the landing. You can land it anywhere. Kind yeah. Of thing. Maybe it's easier. You're not as restricted. Yeah. You don't need to, you don't need to have a mile long land. Nothing wrong strip. where, you know, Hans is property, a big, like, I don't know, whatever. Well, I could land a, any kind of helicopter on my property. Yeah. And I'm sure any neighbors, size. neighbors in about a <laughs> half a mile radius <laughs> <laughs> would be happy. But uh, yeah, one of those twin propeller, <laughs> the big one, the big. Um, um, <laughs> that's funny. Or sea, or, or what is that Navy big helicopter, Sea oh, Stallion? Oh or my whatever. gosh, they're just like this, this <laughs> just ginormous come, thing. There, get a permit for it to be oh. landing there, and they Shake would that. say, they would say. What is, what is going on? You know, I mean, you have that, a car, I have a helicopter. I mean, that would literally shake houses around you. Like, <laughs> literally would. Like, it's just, you would feel well, it. yeah, <laughs> they would blow their roof. <laughs> I used to fly in helicopters, uh, all exploration. And, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, they're powerful machines. Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> Dangerous fun. Dangerous fun. All right, guys, we'll see you next time. Ahoy.